Hey guys, Mars Ingen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so today, as a bit of a preview to the anniversary, that obviously will be officially starting in a few days, we are going to take a look at both of the Dokkan Festival exclusive LR banners, the Dual Dokkan Fest, that will be dropping at the very start. This is the first main banner of the anniversary. Go over both the banners and talk about which one is the better one because a few people have asked me obviously uh, for the most part for a lot of players the goal is usually to save your stones up for the anniversary so that you can uh, at least do somewhat of a reasonable amount of summons on both um, but obviously newer players or people that don't get to play as much i've seen a few people uh, you know talking about which banner should we prioritize because we don't have a ton of stones to go like super crazy on both of them so that's what we're going to talk about in this video let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section do hit that like button on the video and uh, let's go ahead and jump straight in so obviously the main highlight of the banner the new units is the two new dokkan festival exclusive lrs uh the boo duo as they usually get called super saiyan 3 goku and super saiyan 2 vegeta and then the gt duo uh base form kid goku or goku gt and super saiyan 4 vegeta now i still think it's interesting to see how mixed the community is over these units because a lot of people were not super hyped with this unit in terms of the choice because a lot of people don't really care about like base form kid goku um, and then a lot of people like the choice of this unit, including me personally, right? I really like Super Saiyan 3 as a form and Super Saiyan 2, so I really like this card as like a duo card. But then when it comes to the actual kits, most people prefer this card. So it's kind of like a weird flip where these guys are the more hype choice for like the character, and then this card is the one that is the better of the two. So for the actual main headliners, it's going to kind of come down to personal preference. But one thing I would definitely say straight off the bat is, as I've already mentioned, this card is probably better, the GT Duo. And then if you think about the upcoming releases, one of the big things that everybody is obviously hype and talking about on JP at the moment is the Tanabata LR Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, who will be coming to Global in November. Um, and this unit works incredibly well with him obviously being another gt unit so these guys are uh, probably the better of the two to focus on if you can only focus on one banner and you're making your decision solely based on the new headliner but when we take a look at the banners themselves it's the other units that we want to take a look at so the gammas are returning for the first time and the worldwide celebration uh, lrs are returning for the first time so those are the two like major big returns right other units on the banner are worth talking about as well which we will cover but those are the big ones because they are the first ones uh, the first time returning so lr final form cooler uh with the way things stand on global um i don't know how he would be directly compared to like int piccolo jr but he probably is still like the best extreme unit on global um one of the best extreme leaders for sure it's definitely between him and piccolo jr um so cooler is still very very good like obviously all the red zones that currently exist like you can use cooler and his team uh the sin shenron event that will be coming out as part of the anniversary which becomes the new hardest fight in the game uh the final phase is physical so cooler can still do decently well in that event so final form cooler is still a very very good card definitely has a decent amount of value he's on a lot of good categories as well so if extreme does get good buffs in the future for teams like transformation boost terrifying conquerors planetary destruction like space traveling warriors he's on all of these teams right so he definitely is a unit that is uh, pretty high in value and then his counterpart on the opposite banner is the agl super saiyans from part two of the download celebration um these guys have always been a bit of a weird one um their design is a little bit wonky. I've never been a huge fan of them, so I mainly prioritized Metal Cooler in part two. Um, and then of course, because I mainly prioritized the other banner, I only ended up with these guys at 55%. So maybe that is one of the reasons, but I've never been super impressed. These guys get really good once you actually get their morale boost, right? And you get the costume change into like the battle damage. But to get that, you have to perform three or more super attacks, which isn't too bad because they do have a chance to additional. But they also have to receive seven or more attacks. 
and they're not the craziest defensive unit so you really have to do like play carefully in those early turns of the difficult events to try and get them to get their hits in before it gets too hard and they start getting rocked by those attacks so these guys are, definitely can be good their leader skill because it's joined forces and then pure saiyans as the extra 30 percent they are one of the units that give both the anniversary lrs a full 200 percent leader skill so like just because of their lead their team is obviously really really good um it's just sort of really comes down to how good are they as a unit so i kind of am looking forward to getting dupes to them just so i can see uh maybe some better performance than that i have over the last you know what is it 11 months global has to wait for these units to come back so i think in this case cooler is definitely the stronger option and he is the one on the boo duo banner so in terms of best quality units so far we've got the headliner goes to the gt duo and then for these guys it goes to the boo duo banner then next up we have the Gammas, so Gamma 1 and 2 returning for the very first time as well since the superhero, like the first part of the superhero celebration, we got these guys one week behind JP, well technically eight days, you can see the release date there. Now when it comes to these two, they are both really good, um, obviously when you use them together they are absolutely crazy, but I guess to really examine like which banner is better we need to think about which one of the units on their own is better and for me personally i think it's gamma one now the reason for that is he is the stronger defensive unit of the two and he gives all allies defensive support and when it comes to these really difficult events like the defense is what really matters like gamma two has the potential to put out a bunch of super attacks he builds up crit so he can do a lot of damage but even in a turn where he gets a couple of super attacks, if he then gets supered by like Metal Cooler Core or Sin Shenron or something like that, he is still going to take a pretty decent amount of damage. Um, whereas obviously, like I say, Gamma 1 is the more defensive of the two. So if you, only, if you had both of these guys, there are certain teams where if you had one slot left on the team and you wanted to throw another unit in there like randomly... Um, I would probably throw in Gamma 1, right? Because not only does he have the slightly better defensive performance, but he's giving everybody else extra defense, which can obviously help when it comes to other units, like eating a super attack. So um, I think when it comes to just 1v1, which one is the better value to have? I think it is Gamma 1, personally. Um, and so that is another point for the Boo Duo banner, because he's on their banner and this guy is on the GT Duo. And then finally, the ones that I uh, wanted to mention here is uh, we have, I say not finally, we've got these two to talk about as well. The seven year LRs come back. Now we have seen recently, I did a video with these guys on the JP side using them with the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. These guys really do get like a second lease of life when he comes out in November for us. But obviously until then, the GT duo still work really well with these guys. I will obviously do a video using them together but these guys have definitely gotten a couple of buffs and they really fall into place when full power super saiyan 4 goku comes out but with the gods i still think the gods are really up there in terms of how useful they can be um their team is still really good uh, they have the built-in dodge when they transform or extra dodge with rainbow orbs that can come in clutch sometimes as well like they definitely have a lot of things going for them still uh, even in the current meta like movie heroes just seems to be getting buffs all the time and then obviously power beyond super saiyan is an incredibly good category as well because it's every super saiyan for like two three four god blue like they're all on there so still a very very good category very strong um, and the gt uh, boys this is the lr super saiyan fours are going to build up their value uh, a little bit later on in the year so again like they they can be good in the future but for now, the gods are on the Boo Duo banner. So it seems like that is another point to them. But last but not least now, the ones I did want to talk about as the final cards is these two right here. So the fifth anniversary LRs, Gogeta and Vegito, who obviously transform into blue. Now, if you looked at these banners at the start of the anniversary on JP, you can see Vegito is on the Boo Duo banner, or sorry, the GT Duo, and Gogeta is on the Boo Duo. When you looked at the banner lineup, like right at the start of the anniversary, these guys essentially were another one of those like 
old units coming back where it was like, oh, why are these guys on the banner? Like, I already rainbowed these guys, like, you know, two years ago. I don't want to pull any more copies of them. But then as the anniversary went on and it became clear that they were going to get their easy A's, um, not only did they get an easy A, so they get it during this anniversary. They don't get it until part, is it two or three? It's not in part one. So we will have to wait like a couple of weeks from when the anniversary starts. But these guys get their anniversary, uh, easy A during the anniversary and then they immediately become like top 10 units in the game. I think a lot of people still rank them at like five or like four four, five, six, that kind of region, right? So these guys get their easy A and become ridiculously good. Now, as far as I'm aware, Vegito is slightly better. I need to go through their details, which I'll do in a later video, right? I'll do a video all about the anniversary easy A's, and then obviously when these guys get theirs, I will be doing the showcases. Um, a lot of people have Vegito just over Gogeta, um, but remember, they are on some different categories as well. Like, there are a lot of categories that they share, but Vegito is on things like Katara, Future Saga, and also Battle of Fate, which means he's on the 200% leader skill for um, Vegeta and Trunks. And then, obviously, Gogeta is on teams like Movie Heroes. Um, he does have Kamehameha, so he would get the 200% lead from um, the LR Gods. So, this guy... Um, they're on some separate teams. They're on some similar teams. They're both insanely good. Um, so, yeah, them being on the banners now that we actually know that they get easy A's does increase the value of the banners a little bit. So, with Vegito being considered slightly better than Gogeta, that is another mark to the GT duo. So, it does seem like as we went through this, like, in terms of the 1v1 to their counterparts, the Boo duo banner is better in almost every front except for the headliners themselves and then the fifth year LRs. Um, now I guess if you want to talk about some of the cards that are a little bit outdated, like the Boo Duo have Blue Evolution Vegeta and the GT Duo have UI Goku. And whilst both of them are kind of outdated for the current meta, at least UI Goku can clutch it out by just dodging everything. So I guess technically he is better. Um, as well as the current meta being pretty much all extreme enemies, I suppose Namek Goku is better than Full Power Freezer. Um, but in terms of like the big ticket units, Boo Duo definitely has a couple of dubs and uh, GT Duo definitely does as well. So if you want to make your decision based solely on the strength of like the new units from this celebration, obviously the GT Duo are better than the Boo Duo and then Vegito EZA is slightly better than Gogeta. So if you still need dupes for both of them, um, obviously, Vegito is on this banner. So, a lot of it is going to come down to personal preference. But, especially considering things that come out in the future with, like, the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku and just how good the GT duo are, I think if you were in a position where you can only really summon on one banner, I think my final verdict for this video is that the GT duo banner is better. Um, and of course, you know, if you're really going for these newer banner units, because remember, even if you really want Gamma 1 over Gamma 2, and you really want Cooler over the uh, AGL Super Saiyans, because they are returning, it means they will be available in the red coin shop. So depending on how many red coins you have, um, doing some summons on these guys, trying to get the uh, GT Duo, because remember, Global has free tickets as well. Every 50 stone multi you do, you get three tickets, and then with 10 tickets, you can do a multi. Uh, the banners are obviously three plus one at the start as well. So I think for a lot of people, um, this banner is going to be a little bit better just because of how ridiculously good the GT Duo are. Like the standby abilities for the two units, the GT Duos is a revival, which can really get you out of a, like a tough situation, right? Because when you have a revival up, you are essentially invincible, right? You can't lose the fight on that turn. Whereas these guys, when they go into their standby, they themselves become invincible and they drop like a really powerful attack. But somebody else on the rotation could still die in that turn. So I, th I do think these guys are better overall. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Which of the two banners do you think is the most valuable or which one is the most valuable for you? Let me know how you plan to do your summons down below. And obviously I will be, of course, live summoning on these banners when they come out. I probably will go for the GT Duo first because I rainbowed STR Cooler <laughs> during the Worldwide Celebration. So I want to get my copy of these guys and then... I guess it depends, right? Because I want to get... I probably want more copies of these guys than the Boo Duo, if possible. So maybe I'll just try and get one copy of them and then start going all in on this banner. 
because for me every copy of cooler pulled is a waste but i need dupes of both the gammas as well so there's a lot of good value here let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one